coffee is what keeps Molly Pavia and her husband Bob powered up throughout the day. Now Molly is a happy girl. But when the electricity goes down, the problems in their remote Skagit County community go up. Well, if it's in the winter, it's cold. Um, and part of what we're concerned about is stuff in our refrigerators and freezers. Samish Island is susceptible to high winds that often topple trees and take down power lines, sometimes for days at a time. The problem is so serious, the fire department, which doesn't have a permanent generator, may not be able to turn on the lights or open its electric doors. If we're spending 10 minutes or more trying to get a door open, then we're not going to a person's house right away. And first 10 minutes of a fire is the most important time. These doors are unlocking a solution to the problem. Lithium ion batteries powered by solar panels, creating a Puget Sound Energy microgrid that will provide electricity when the power goes out. Energy stored in the batteries now provides backup power to the fire station and three homes. The reserves stored also ease the strain on the main grid during high use times like cold snaps and summer heat waves. Folks at PSE have two additional communities in Thurston County expected to be on by 2025, one of them providing backup power to 250 homes. How do we make power out of it's invisible? for our customers, right? So to be a utility where you actually don't experience a power outage anymore because you have systems like these working in the background. Bob Pavia helped spearhead the project with PSE. It's part of a 10 year experiment to see how well the technology performs. Bob says it's already working. There was uh, about a four hour outage in January. Uh, where it, it kicked in, we didn't even really notice. Along with those two neighborhood projects, PSE says there are about 10 other projects in our area that will store and distribute solar energy in the future. On Samish Island, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.